sense with uh, some of what you've seen from Janu, maybe mm. especially the last few weeks, that almost you're, you're just starting to scratch the surface with what, what he can do in some ways? Sure. Uh, John is uh, one of those guys you, you love having in your program because he comes out here every day, he's got the right mindset, and he continues to work and improve, and there's a lot of unique things that Janu can do. And uh, he'll, keep, he'll keep working, and we'll see where, where his role goes. But a lot of times that's what, true with a lot of tight ends. You know, it takes a couple of years for those guys, and he's kind of finding a groove right now. How long did the idea been? of uh, go your run uh, come from? How, how, how does that how do you come up with that? It just sometimes it, it happens when, when he and I have been talking uh, for a while about it, and then as you go through it and you take a look at it and, and walk through a practice, and then, hey, it has a chance, and then you know you talk over with the staff and communicate. Well, and, and then it was pretty cool to watch. Is that a one and done deal, or can you do that <coughs> again and have success? You think? We'll see. You know, it just depends on on who's up, who's down, and it, we'll we'll see where it goes. But I I, I, don't, I can't can't say it's all going to depend on the game plan week to week. Have you altered protection schemes much as the years gone on, or have guys just gotten more comfortable with what you're asking them to do? Well, it's a combination. Uh, some some weeks you do tweak how you want to protect certain certain looks, I and mean, that's a challenge every week in the NFL. Uh, it's it's third down is a is a great chess match when you're going against certain defenses. In other words, it's just the cohesion of the line. It takes time, and those guys have been playing together now for, for several weeks together. That definitely helps. How do you, how do you balance a Derek right now while he's, he's obviously dealing with a little bit of that injury? But still, I know he wants to get out there and, and sure. be a part of this team every single day. Well, it's, a lot of it is how the game's going. And, uh, you know, it's, he's out there. He's going to go full throttle. I mean, it's the, the great thing about Derek Henry. He, he's going to – got to – literally make him come off the field. So he's uh, feel good about where he is. So we'll see what he does Sunday. Seeing uh, improvement, Tannehill uh, deep ball as the season goes on, do you think? It's just, you know, a lot of those, your percentages aren't very high on some of those. But you, you definitely, the more you work him, the more comfortable you get. Just the body language of certain guys helps. And just overall reps. So that's I think you're seeing a lot of that pay off. Maybe this might be a similar question, but the 13 targets for AJ last week, are, are we seeing like that, that relationship really kind of take hold in the you know, chemistry? Yeah, I think that's pretty that? pretty obvious, you know, when you're going into it, that he, he and AJ have a good rhythm going, and, and Ryan does a good job with all those guys and developing. And a lot of this, the way the game's going and where the coverage dictates where the ball is in certain plays. So it, that's a good thing to see. How much of a strain has it put on you to not have Adam, and how do you think guys, how do you think it's kind of worked out? Well, I think guys are doing a good job. Uh, you know, we we ask a lot of those guys, and there's, there's, there's things I just don't worry. I mean, once we realize that somebody's down or during the course of the game, there's nothing I can do about it to find a solution. And I give guys like uh, Tajay credit. Tajay, uh, he can play multiple roles. Uh, Corey, all those guys. I mean, we that's the beauty of it. Khalif has stepped in there. Hollister when we needed him too. And so you just mix and match, and you just find try to find ways to for answers. You called the screen to get Corey a, a touch uh, last week. How has he come along just as far as, I don't want to say not being that guy, but you know, not always being the first read in, in the offensive play call and, and those types well, of situations? Well, he is on some of them. And then, you know, I don't want to get into schemes at, right. in this in this uh, press conference, but that, that's sometimes it, again, cover takes it away. And that, that is, uh, there's, a, there's a balance there, but Corey is definitely the, the Primary in a lot of things. It has nothing to do with him or Ryan. It's sometimes it's the way it goes. I mean, Ryan gets off of it because of a maybe a guy gets in a window, they take it away with the coverage, and somebody else comes open. But uh, Corey's done a good job, and he continues to work. If he's Do primary in a lot of things, why why is he taking away so long? It, it, there's, you're talking about there's a ton of variables that happen with the you know the 22 guys on the field coverage, and just the way again I'm not going to go into scheme about what we do, but. We get multiple guys that are primary. It doesn't necessarily mean that's exactly where the ball is going. What do you say to, to, to Furcher, who's done a lot right for you, but wasn't able to hold on that ball? Do you have to try to keep his confidence up? What do you say to him after a play like maybe on Sunday to handle and move? Sure. Uh, you know, it, nobody felt. I mean, that's the thing about these. You love working with guys like Furcher because he he guy he, he he's developed a lot since he's been here. He's made some really big plays for us in big moments. Uh, you go back to the last year, the Jets game. We couldn't move it an inch, and right before half, Ferk, Ferk got us going in that two-minute drill, and that's actually when he scored his first touchdown at the end of that drive, and it kind of changed that whole game. 
He's come up in big moments. He obviously in the Kansas City game, huge moment at the end of the game. And we'll continue to call Ferk's number. We got a lot of faith in, in Anthony Ferkser. So he's continuing to work. Obviously, that, that guy made a great play. Uh, Reed broke on the ball and he launched like any good DB would do to, to, to make a play at that, in that moment because it's bang, bang on the goal line. We had the look we wanted in man. And it was unfortunate the ball popped out. You, you know, you look at that play 100 times and you know, you're talking about the game of inches here, there, and the ball not only did it pop out, but it's two weeks in a row the ball's popped right up to the defender. And you're talking about the brink of a touchdown on either one of those plays, going back to Oakland on the on the first drive. So we'll continue. He'll continue to work, and you just continue to. I got a lot of confidence in Anthony Ferguson. Back to Corey for a second. Do you kind of sense some frustration from him? And if so, do you, do you have to find yourself like, hey, look, come on, we're we're like kind of bringing him along, so to speak. I, I, it, I can't speak for how Corey feels on things like that. He and I talk every day like I do with any of the players on the offense. Right, that's what I mean. In yeah, sure, and they just continue to work. And, and sometimes, you know, it's the, the, you know, the ball finds its way and he gets he gets hot again. We'll see. But he, he could, Corey does a great job. He, he's got a great great mindset, too. He comes out and works every day. And so we'll continue to see, you know, who knows what, what happens on Sunday. Has Johnny earned a couple extra toes this week after that run last week? Uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll <laughs> see. Um, Again, it, it, you know, those, those things come up, you work on them, and I, I don't anticipate that, you know, that's something that will go down. But if we'll find creative ways if we need to move the ball, if need to be. What's that say about, though, his ability, not only as a pass catcher, but a pure runner to make a play like he did last week? He's a good all around football player. And that's the thing I liked about John who coming out of, out of uh, college. Guy's pretty good with the ball in his hands. And so uh, he's done a nice job continuing to develop.